Florida Congresswoman Kat Kamak joins us now. Congresswoman, I live in blue states, New Jersey and New York, and we are clearly in decline. You're in Florida. Florida's not in decline, is it? No, and come on, Stu, you know all about the Sunshine State and how great things are. <laughs> we are all about sunshine and freedom and prosperity. And while I do agree with Speaker Johnson that there are elements of America that is in decline, America is exceptional. And we are strong and we are resilient. And we will survive the horrific term of President Joe Biden. And we will retire him this November. But I know that people are so frustrated about the fact that he's going to try to sell us a bill of goods and it is going to be all hat and no cattle. He has perpetuated policies that have actually hurt Americans across the spectrum in blue and red states. And tonight is just going to be another example of where they try to spin a very sad tale and try to make it sound beautiful. We know it's not. Uh, Congresswoman, you're going to be joined tonight by a father, the father of a young woman who died from a fentanyl overdose traced back to the cartels. You're making a point which the president probably does not wish to make and doesn't wish to see in the chamber, right? Absolutely. I mean, deflection and deny is pretty much the, the M.O. of this administration. The open border crisis has killed over 100,000 individuals through fentanyl poisonings every single year. Stu, if we had an airliner of 300 passengers going down every single day, by the end of the week, all flights would be grounded and there would be an investigation as to what was going on. But because it is the, re the result of a policy that they have perpetuated, they have chosen to ignore it. And we have families and communities that are hurting as a result. So Selena, the daughter of Mr. Ed Bravo, uh, she was murdered. She was poisoned uh, by fentanyl. She thought she was taking something that she actually wasn't. And he is going to be in the room tonight as well, a walking, talking, breathing reminder of the failures of the Biden administration. How far would you go to go after the cartels which are bringing this stuff into the country? I think pr uh, former President Trump was talking about using the military, maybe inside Mexico. How far would you go? Well, keep in mind that the commander in chief today is more like the trafficker in chief. He's doing the final leg of the journey on behalf of the cartels. And this is all about money at the end of the day. The cartels are in it to turn a buck. So what we could do immediately is secure the border. It's not hard. You secure the border and then that stops the flow of, of illegals and narcotics into our country. It makes it exceptionally difficult to do the job that the cartels are doing if there is a secure border. So that's big step number one, two, three. Beyond that, there's a number of things that we could be doing, including putting pressure on Mexico, which, by the way, the cartels control 40 percent of Mexico mm -hmm. infrastructure and territory today. We need to be actually addressing the root cause right now of what's coming in, and that's at the southwest border. Got it. Congresswoman, thank you very much for joining us this morning. See you again soon. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.